Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, and uh, I want to do something a little bit different today on Friday. It's a little bit past 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm actually out here in Ecuador, but I wanted to uh, kind of just mix things up a little bit because, hey, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now in the stock market. And uh, one of the things I think that everyone's kind of hoping for is maintaining composure. And uh, today is just kind of a different day for me. I typically don't play video games during the day, but I figured just to mix it up and keep my emotions down low and calm, I'll play some video games. So right here, right now on the background, you see um, the Epic Games launcher and one of the games that they give out during their weekly game, free game giveaway is... Uh, is uh apes out so i figured uh i got this I, I don't remember when but every week i claim whatever the free games are and just so happens that they have this game called ape out so i'm gonna try that out and uh stay tuned guys let's see what this is all about Never played this game before, but uh, let's see, let's see what it's got. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I watched the review on it. Unfortunately, I don't have a game controller, so I'm gonna have to use my my keyboard and mouse. But from what I understand, the controls on this is actually pretty good, and obviously, it's got a lot of character too. It's got a really unique out, um, art style. Yes, yes. So this looks like the level, and I'm D.E.D. -E dead. So this is not what we want to happen, right? That's the name. Get that guy. Okay, there's a map. So it looks like it changes. I don't know the controls here. Oh, man. All right, you know it's it's a little tough being an ape these days. You know, God bless the animal kingdom. All right, so we're in. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. So we use the mouse to point in the direction where we want to go, and then there's the left mouse button to hit things. Okay, so I'm going to point it this way in the back just to test it out. So it looks like you do something there. Okay, so we... So I use a, a trackball uh, as my regular mouse movement. And uh, I, I don't have a regular mouse, and I kind of like it that way. So let's check it out. There's one, two, three enemies there. We're gonna take this guy out first. Let's see the other side there. Oh. I mean, this game's got a lot of character. Oh crap! Oh. oh. Right, so I gotta keep the circles small. So see how there's that reticule. It's pretty obvious that this that I'm gonna need a little bit of practice. Oh. Ooh. All right. 
I gotta keep the mouse I'm just wondering about how, how they did the graphics there. You know, so it looks like it, they're definitely using some some very simple 3D geometry, and it looks like maybe they got some materials that they're uh, that they're looping, several layers of materials, maybe with uh, some alpha channel. I'm not really sure, but I really like this art style. I think this is probably some kind of like the fantasy that we have, right? That we're gonna beat the hedge funds at their own game. Or at least what we're trying to do. Alright, so we're gonna sneak around the corner. Subject 4. Guy, woo! I mean, this is I mean, this is a pretty violent game. This is not recommended for kids, by the way. If you guys are gonna decide to pick this up, I gotta commend um, Epic Games too, you know, for for being able to provide games, you know, on a weekly basis. I mean, it's I mean, obviously, it's it's incentivizing the ability to be able to uh, get on their gaming platform. But honestly, um, that's not such a bad thing, right? Because you're getting the games that you uh, that you want to play, and they're obviously curating the ones that you can that you can get for free. And a lot of them have been very high quality. And uh, I actually just purchased Outer Wilds. Maybe I should turn down some of the volume. Oh, there we go. I'm oh, sorry. I was, I was looking at the controller. Ah! Oh. I, I think I would do a lot better if I had a game controller. Um, I'll tell you what, the beats are pretty hot. I was going to try to lower down the volume on the desktop. Which guy should I go first? Always go left. Mechanics are kind of kind of hard. I mean, they're kind of floaty, but I think having this cursor is difficult to control. And I think um, a regular game controller might be a little bit easier. I mean, you do got you do have kind of that granular movement with with a with a mouse and keyboard setup, except for the WASD. You know, this kind of reminds me of like an Ocean's Eleven intro, or even uh, Cowboy Bebop. Alright, All right. those, those gonna be good hideouts. I, I like how, you know, when you turn the corner and the geometry kind of just gets in the way visually. I think it's a really good, good uh, game style and game mechanic that uh, kind of adds to the difficulty because you are limited to what you can see here. So again, kind of like what's going on with the, uh, the investing world, right? Not financial advice. Um, I, I, would, I would guess that this is part of the, the travel log, but I guess it kind of melds with, <laughs> it kind of melds with uh, non, uh, the not financial advice portion of, of the video. All right, I'm being extra cautious. I'm gonna let this guy come over here. I'm gonna hit this guy. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ooh, 
Yeah, you can hear the, like the squishy noises as he walks over. Look at that. It leaves. It leaves trails. That's cool. That's really cool. It's a messy. That's a messy situation. You know, just when you think too, right, that there's nothing else to be done visually for games, like, you know, there's obviously the aspect of being able to play games where, um, visu you know, visually they look super realistic, and then you have games like this that just really stand out because it's, it's got so much of its own character that would, um, that would otherwise be completely eclipsed by, ah, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, ah. Oh man! Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's showing. So it's showing. Um, it's showing where I ended up, or how far I got. Uh, it's showing the pathway that I took. So that's that's very cool. But look at that. I mean, that's. I mean, that's Ocean's Eleven, except it's apes out. All right. Let's go. Let's 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 do this. Let's do this. One one more try, and that's it for this video. Okay, guys. One more try. Ah, it's the whole mouse thing is is messing me up. Like I said, if I had a game controller. All right, one more try, one more. Okay. So, yeah. I don't want to break the, uh, I guess this is glass. I don't want to break this open right away because the, when I click the, the left mouse, what ends up happening is, you know, I break this thing open and then the music's going to start. Okay, see, see that? See, like I'm pointing. See, see this cursor? I'm pointing it so far, and these are the characters that I can get away from or hit very quickly. I'm oozing a little bit, oozing, oozing a little blood. This school is subject four. I'm gonna need a regular controller for this. symbol just went off. You hear that? I mean, that just works, you know? And keep in mind too, right, in the best game, brute force itself sometimes doesn't really work all about patience. You know, you gotta be like a doctor or a nurse. You know, lead those hedge funds to a trap. I mean, you know, before there was a bull trap, I think now it's a new trap. Trap music, I don't know. I wish I had better headphones. I'm listening, I have these headphones that I, that I got from a flight a while back ago. And I mean, there's no bass, so it just sounds very tinny. Oh, oh, oh. Two, two, two guys, two guys, two guys. Roll to the side, roll to the side. Oh! Double combo. We got some fancy lights. Alright, cool. Alright, we secured that, that area over there. Shoot! 
Oh! Oh, he just took out one of his own guys. Oh! Woo, that was close. Ooh, man. Splatterhouse 5000. Oh yeah, oh, he doesn't know I'm coming. Where is uh, Kamala Harris? Don't come. I figured those, those enemies there. Ooh, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that, around the corner. Around the quarter, around the bend. You just gotta get to the end. Man, this art style is just really cool. It's so, it, like, it's so dynamic, you know. Like, okay, I'm just gonna go around the corner. See how it just hides that corner, so you actually can't see. This is the farthest I've gone. I hear footsteps. You hear footsteps? I feel like dancing right now. Are they closing in on me? Ooh. This guy. Oh! All right, guys. I think that's it. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. Hey, you know what? If you guys get the chance, I'd recommend picking this up. This is just kind of a really cool game. And on top of that, I, I think it's going to be good to kind of just chill out and being able to um, relax. But uh, stay alive out there. Stay calm. You know you know what to do. Make sure if you didn't get the chance to subscribe, you know, do all the things that they say on YouTube, you know, smash, uh, like the video and whatnot. But this was just a, a quick playthrough of that game, uh, Ape Out. It's the first time I've ever played it. And um, I know it's going to be something that when there's uh, some quiet time or, or anything like that, I'm going to sit down and uh, charge up and play this game. But otherwise, I'd highly recommend it. Um, like I said early on, I just actually just watched a review on it. And surprisingly, there's uh, this is a very interesting game. Very simple game mechanics. Me personally, if I were to continue playing this game, I would definitely try to play it with a game controller. Just because um, this is my this is my mouse, as you can see, I got the trackball. I've had this for years. This is actually the first mouse um, that my father gave me, and uh, because we are coming into uh, uh, Father's Day, everyone out there have a great Father's Day weekend. Enjoy yourself, uh, stay relaxed, have fun, eat some food, all that kind of fun stuff that you would do on Father's Day. But otherwise, stay tuned. Uh, enjoy your Friday and thank you guys for stopping by.